with some Dokkan battle. Hold on, let me lower this a little bit. All right, what's going on, guys? Today is the day. Finally, 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 we get LRP Vegito. Now, they are approximating this uh, for each time zone that are going to get him and available for everyone across the world. Uh, all of those on the global side, obviously. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, for those that don't know, want to know the exact time that this unit is coming out. It's 1 a.m. Eastern Time for us, 10.30 Pacific Standard Time over there on that side. So as to other time zones, I will add them in the link in the description below or in the description below itself so that I can notify you when and where this unit is coming out so that you guys know and be ready for him. Now, I have many things to inform you. First and foremost, I want you guys to grind. Now everybody's asking me what stones are they, what stones are the ones we need. This is Supreme Kai stones. So the stones that we're supposed to be getting for our characters are, for this character at least specifically, are these that I'm going to show you here now. Uh, right here, Supreme Kai stuff. So I have 120. I've grinded almost all the story, almost all of it. I can grind more if I wanted to, but I want to stick to this to see how much more uh, are, they're going to cost or whatnot. In order to get them, uh, I will show you right here, is how to get them. So for those that don't know or how to get them or want to get them, this is how you do it. Uh, you go here to Supreme Kai, uh, tie, uh, Supreme Kai trial time. I don't saying at this point uh, and you do these missions now, I said I have a couple I can do more of if I want to grind a little bit harder but these are the ones you can do uh, obviously if you want to get them you obtain them this way uh, you can go to this uh, grind and get little soul from the soul you get two more stones etc you get the gist of it so that's what I would recommend for you guys to do if you need the stones or need to get LR Blue Vegito like a lot of us are so let's go ahead and get into an event here real quick I talk a little bit about some things that happened today um, also for those that are not aware or are aware uh, they just did a voting for something that is very important to all of us. It's net neutrality. If you guys haven't seen what just happened, the FCC just voted to remove that neutrality. I know a lot of you guys are very upset and are in very much so enraged. I know a lot of states are trying to do their absolute best to appeal this so that we can get back net neutrality. I know that it hasn't been affected to us right now, but we're making sure that Congress and all other things are being brought to this attention so that we can get back and that we'll obviously get that neutrality to stay as is. So I hate to bring politics into it, but this is something very important other than other than the fact. So hopefully you all understand that. Also, uh, let's get right back into Dokkan. I don't want to talk about that anymore. I know that I, I don't like to bring politics into this, but this is something I feel that is very important to the eye of everybody. All gamers are like everybody. So let's get right into this battle here real quick again. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Now a lot of guys are actually trying to make a very solid strength team for when the LR Vegeta comes out. A lot of people are confused as to how strong this unit will be. Now a lot of people are saying he could possibly be a 90% lead, just like Gohan is. Or he could possibly be the first to be a 100% lead. I don't know. Which would be pretty awesome if he is because he obviously wants to be a lot stronger than the physical one because physical gives out 50% on attack and defense and he gives key plus three or two it is, I'm not sure. Or key plus three, I'm, um, I'll check when I'm finished with this battle so I can be a lot more sure about this, um, et cetera, and et cetera. So my biggest concern right now, as it stands, is that a lot of us are trying to build, as I said before, a very solid strength team. Uh, I don't blame anyone for doing that because obviously you want to get the right teams for this unit. Of course, as I said before, uh, how strong will this unit be? How strong will his link skills be? How strong will this actual unit be for us? Like I said before, we don't want this one to be weaker or, you know, or at any means because we want it to be stronger than the physical one, as I mentioned before in the beginning of this video or maybe towards the middle of this video. So that's what I'm aiming for here. So hopefully this guy's either a 90% unit or even... Uh, 100% unit. Now, a lot of people are saying that in the beginning of his stages of his SSR unit, he is not countering like the regular Vegeta's would. Uh, obviously, the tech one doesn't counter, nor does the INT one. So, would this mean this will be the first Vegito LR that will not counter? I could be wrong, I could be right, I don't know. But again, that all leads to a lot of speculation will he counter in his LR's native form? I don't think he will. And this is the reason why. This LR unit is going to be so strong that I don't think that giving him a counter would make sense. I think that it would, obviously I want a counter, but I don't think they're gonna allow it. I don't think it's gonna happen because 
seeing as what we are seeing now, there's no information saying, oh, he's going to have a counter. He's going to have a very strong effective counter to that set. But if he does have one, great. And if he doesn't, I mean, he still might be very strong, so he may not need it. Or he'll have support from other Vegitos that he'll have if you put him on a Rainbow Team or even leave him as an STR favorable unit on its own. Or will he, will he be an all support unit that will support all super types? I don't know. He could be the same as Physical Blue Vegito where he does that ability. But Or also, he could also be a very support strength unit for the strength type, which is fine. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it in any way or shape or form is wrong or bad. But I also want this unit to be as effective as possible because a lot of the free-to-play units that are LRs aren't as useful, you know, like Hercule, uh, like the Androids. I know the Androids are going to get a boost now because of what they're releasing on the JP side, but I still feel like as, uh, as though Hercule could have done a little bit better. I feel like also the Android could have done a little bit better. Uh, Frieza is okay. Goku LR is fantastic. A lot of other units could have done a little bit better. I know that if you uh, effectively uh, craft them a little bit better, I feel like this, this unit, now that's coming, I want this unit to be just as good as maybe an LR Gohan or a Broly, obviously, or even a Rose or LR Rose, Zamasu, or even like a Trunk, per, per se. I also want this unit to be as effective as any of the other units we've seen before. Now, I obviously can see a lot of things. We can also have a unit that quite possibly not as good or as ineffective. But I also don't want to say he may not be as effective as the other ones. Which would suck because we want these units to be as effective as possible. Now, I only say that because I feel like this unit, and a lot of people are speculating this unit not to be as good. Now, that's a two-way streak about this. Let me put it in this perspective. Let's say this LR isn't as strong as we assume he will be. Then that would lead us to believe that this unit isn't even worth even us getting. But even so that Bondi was was hearing it from all of us saying, oh, we better get the unit or else. This is ridiculous. We waited months and months and months. Uh, it could lead to them just releasing this LR and giving us this LR with barely half the stats we're expecting this LR to have. Now, I could also be even more wrong or I could be right that this unit may just be a very good LR to use on any uh, team for super types, of course. But also, he could also be the leader for your very strong and important strength team. Now, what I will say is, is this. I hope that he is as effective as a lot of people are leading, are leading him to be. I hope he is, because I really do like this unit, and I really respect this unit. A lot of people do too, including those that have waited many months and months and months for this unit. You know, so hopefully this unit is as effective and is as strong. Now, his stats, as you've seen before, a video was released of the base form of Blue Vegito using his Big Bang Attack, Big, Big Bang Attack, uh, in the beginning of his stages. I, I think this was on a private server, which is weird, but whatever. But still, we saw his attack and he shot it out all right and he hits him with the Big Bang Attack. Did almost 500k damage or so, or 600k. But also, uh, this also could mean he was fully rainbow starred. Maybe that's why he was hitting so hard. Or he maybe had the support of Kava, which gives him an extra 40% attack boost and defense boost, of course, and key as well. So that could be the case as well. You know, the Big Bang attack is a good attack, and I like that attack. So it's also cool to see that he, he got out with that attack as well. But what I want to make sure is that this unit also is as effective or effective enough to be a support or even a great leader unit because I don't want it to be a support unit. If he is a support unit, I guess it's all right, but if it's if it is anything else, it, it will be very uh, it's sad to see that this LR isn't as we expected. Now, leave in the comments below what you think this LR will be when he releases tonight. Let me know what you think his stats will be, what his uh, effectiveness will be, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Also, guys, please make sure, and I say this very, 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 very openly, please contact your congressman from any state that you're from from ohio michigan chicago wherever to support net neutrality now i only say this because i 100 percent support net neutrality i support it very much so because i support an open free internet for everyone so anyway aside from that i want to bring back the oh, i you to once more to discuss one thing i feel that is important so let, let's go with this i feel that this unit will either go to using his final Kamehameha like the physical one or or he can go with a different move 
Now, I'm, I'm thinking a lot of people were saying he's going to stick to the Big Bang attack. I don't think he will go with that move. Because obviously when he fought Murzamatsu in the show of Dragon Ball Super, he obviously went and hit him with two uh, final Kamehamehas. I think that that's what's going to happen in this super attack for him. Or for this unit. Um, I don't know. Maybe he will be strong or will not be strong. I don't know. Uh, maybe he'll do that same combination against any unit or maybe just... Uh, a very effective unit team. I don't know. Uh, again, I'm only speaking in speculation here once he's released tonight, which we will know more information of once he's released, obviously. So that's what I'm going to stick with for now. But also, I want to ask you guys again to make sure to leave in the comments below what you guys think of this unit or how effective this unit will be. If you guys have any thoughts and opinions, make sure to follow me on Twitter and I will be more than happy to discuss this with you. And also, if you guys want to join an awesome Discord for anime or just or an all around Discord for Dokkan battle, Feel free to join mine, it's awesome, very active, very simple, very fun. Uh, you can post your units, you can post uh, great pulls that you've done, all that good stuff. Also guys, I also want to say thank you to everybody in the community that's been supporting me in the Dokkan side. It really means the world to me. I also want to appreciate the fact that I've been doing so well on, um, on the YouTube channel a little bit. I know I'm not doing fantastic, I'm not getting 100k views or any of that, but I am getting close to you know, getting my views a little bit higher, which I appreciate all of you for because every every view counts for me and i always will appreciate it no matter what because i didn't have this many views back then or even had this much support back then as i do now so uh, i say thank you to all of you guys who've been consistently supporting the content supporting all the videos that i've uploaded so uh, say to all of you and everyone that supports me thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for supporting um also I always wondered, because there's a lot of stuff happening on the JP side that I forgot to mention. Also, they're getting a Z-Awakened Broly. The Broly, that strength Broly that we never use anymore. He's getting a Z-Awakened to 140, which is awesome. I, 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 It's cool, but I kind of figured it was going to happen eventually with him being like a unit that's not fairly being used. Um, I don't know what other unit after him is going to get one. I think Super Saiyan 3 Strength might, might get one. Super Saiyan 3 Strength Goku might get it, or... Uh, or who's another unit that might get it? INT Cell, maybe? Uh, those are units that barely are barely being used as much, I feel. Uh, maybe they might get a little bit of a boost increase with attack and HP and stuff. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll see a little bit of that, too. Also, they are releasing uh, a new card, which is uh, Physical uh, Android 18 with a Rogue. <laughs> These random numbers they keep <laughs> calling up on my phone that I don't even know who they are. They're just... Anyway. So, um, yeah. That's something that uh, pretty dope to see. And of course, they are doing some increases on uh, on LR, the LR Androids. Or I don't know, maybe I just saw something different there, or I don't know. But also, guys, feel free to to let me know what you think about all the JP from copying over there. Of course, they released Capion and Harutagon over there on that side as well. So check those out. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today on this awesome, awesome day. Uh, on Thursday, we're releasing oh the LR Blue Vegito. Hopefully, this is some good news even though a lot of things have happened today but anyway let's stick to some positive some positivity obviously and uh make sure to slap a like on this video subscribe if you guys enjoyed the content here and always check out all the sponsors in the link in the description below check out booster make sure to check out all my good and pretty much fantastic apparel if you guys want to use something to keep yourselves warm a good sweater use code goes for all the products there and as always guys stay blessed and keep playing that dokkan battle baby